Hello everyone, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Monster Girl Quest Paradox Part 3 Demo on the Owl Street. Last time, we went to the hidden elf village, where we fought the rebelling princess elf, and got her to calm down and join our side. And now, it's time for us to head to the Monster Lord's Continent. So, let's get going. We come to Helgondo, the demon continent. Are we going to ride to the Monster Lord's castle now? We're going. Wait, yes, we're going. So, we're here at last. But we cannot carelessly approach the Monster Lord's Castle in Galda. The air defense network in the airspace around the Monster Lord's Castle is very tight. The air defense forces, uh. The air defense force Wyvern girls are keeping close eyes on us. Sure, if we keep approaching them like this, they're going to target us. We'll land at a place far from the Monstler's Castle. From there, we will take the land route to the Monstler's Castle. Alright, Galda, lower altitude. Like this, we will land in the southern part of the Monstler's Continent. Gauda lost altitude and descended to the southern part of the continent where security was thin. Okay, they haven't noticed us yet. Let's keep walking and head to the Monster Lord's castle. Yeah! Gauda is housed in the pocket Monster Lord's castle. Hey, you'll have to be quiet in there for a while. You're too big. You'll stand out. Well, before we go to the Monster's Castle, I'd like to rest for a while. There's a shrine near here. Let's head there first. The direction we should go is east. There are signs here and there, so follow their directions. Alright, first of all, there's a shrine to the east. Let's go! You're going to that shrine. Uncle Lazarus, what's wrong? No, it's nothing. Alright, real quick, since none of the monsters here are new. Go and equip the Demon Ward bracelet. So that way there's no interruptions. <clears throat> to the east is Helgondo's Cave. To the west is Taurus. To the east is Helgondo's Cave, Helgondo's Horn. West is Taurus. <laughs> Our destination is the Horn of Helgondo, which is to the east. To the west is Taurus. Ah, uh, but for now, our priority is the Monstler's Castle. The Taurus here is probably sealed off anyway. Well then, let's put Taurus on the back burner. First, we'll take a break at the Eastern Shrine. Yep, I know it's coming up. I mean, Southeast, Helgondo's Caves Ruins. No passage. What are the remnants of the Helgondo's Cave? In a parallel world in the past, we went to the Monstler's Castle, didn't we? You remember that time we went through the cave? That cave is currently sealed off, but from the continent side, you can make it halfway through. If you have the time, why don't we do a little exploring? There might be some treasure to be found. Treasure, huh? It'd be great if there were weapons and armor that would be useful for... 
fighting the monster's castle. Before we go to the Eastern Shrine, let's stop by if we can. Hmm. I don't know what we should do. We're going in! There's loot to be found! This place. The structure seems to be exactly the same as the cave we passed through in the parallel world. The structure is the same, but the passage should be blocked on the way. Let's just collect the treasure chest. And it's full to the brim with bot girls. <clears throat> Magic bot. Alright. Back to it. Me or boomerang. <clears throat> Secret sword of book. Brilliant black stone. There's a pot here. Have I mentioned how much I hate these things? Alright, metal. Mysterious earring. Small metal. Me or harp. Dragon circlet. Monster Lord's flail. Oh, this! Isn't this a flail I used to swing when I was a night child? I broke the perimeter a little too much and they confiscated it. Tomorrow hid in a place like this. <laughs> That's a little pretty cute. Although awfully strong weapon to be given to you as a child. That one wasn't as bad, because I properly prepared for it. Alright, that's everything we need here. To business. Oh, forgot to talk. Southeast have found his horseshoe. The monster lord's castle and the sinner's prison are to the northeast. Helgano's horseshoe is just southeast. From here on out, we'll be expecting fierce battles. It's the last place to rest before we ride into the monster lord's castle. finally here. The sisters here are monsters, but they're devoted followers of Ilias. They are cooperative with heroes and will gladly provide lodging for you. This place is a church, isn't it? How could you allow a building like this so close to the monster lord's castle? What you believe is up to you. As long as you don't oppose the Monster Lord, the Monster Lord's army has nothing to fit. Let's go ask the sister for help! We need to get some rest today and get ready for a fierce battle. Ah, uh, here we are. We've arrived. Yep. 
Are y'all ready to have your minds blown? I was surprised to see a group of human heroes. As a member of the Ilias congregation, I welcome you. Hmm, we're tired. Sorry, but you'll have to offer us lodgings. But I'm not sure if I can offer you satisfactory hosp hospitality. After all, it's been more than 20 years since a human last visited. What to do? So instead, may the great hero be led by the light. Look at his party fully recovered. You look so much like the people I came here before. You look just like the young hero. Eh? Me? No, it's probably just someone else. It's been a long time, so my memory is uncertain. No, you're not completely off. Luca over here is his son. Eh? No way, you're... That warrior from back then? I never thought you would visit here again. I can I could hardly tell. Your face is so different. What do you mean, Lazarus? Don't tell me you reached this point in your adventure. Oh, uh, yeah. This place was the end of our journey, you know? No way. I never knew that a party of heroes had reached this far. So Marcellus the hero was more powerful than I expected. We didn't have a Galda back then. It took us a whole year to get over those mountains. It was an extraordinary hardship. I don't know how we made it over there without, without losing one of the four of us. But why didn't you tell me? I didn't know Uncle Lazarus and the others made it to the monster continent. Bye bye! Well, he couldn't tell you, could he? Your white rabbit? What are you doing in a place like this? And you're supposed to be dead! My role is to guide you. From here on, you will learn of a hidden truth. Look, down here, down here! Ah, uh, wait! She escaped to the basement! After her! Ah, oh, before I forget. We're going to face the battle. It's not going to be too tough, but we do have one. The space was pretty big. I was lucky there are no monsters here. Looks like White Rabbit went far downstairs. Let's go after her. Yep, there's nothing here to find. Just down, down we go to the grave that was mentioned in Lazarus's diary all the way back at the beginning of Paradox Part 1. Where did White Rabbit go? There's nothing here but a grave. The name's fading, but I think I can manage to make it out. Let's see. Here lies Marcellus Hine, the hero. Marcellus? Oh wait, that's my dad's name! It has to be someone with a different name. Because Marcellus made it back from their adventure. He, he, of course, otherwise I wouldn't have been born. No. Who sleeps there is 
Marcellus himself. Huh? Th then? Born in Iliusville, son of an innkeeper, and my best friend since I was a child. The brave hero who aspired to adventure and made it to the Monster Lord's castle. The one who sleeps here is unmistakably that Marcellus. But it is not your father. What's going on? Then uh, who the hell is my father? No, your father is indeed Marcellus, but not the Marcellus I know. A different Marcellus. What the hell's going on? Explain it so we can understand! Well, I'll tell you, it's... Back off, rabbit. It's my duty to tell this. It was five days after we arrived in the Magical Continent. It was right after we had rested and regrouped in this, uh, this church. We were unlucky to run into those guys. Who are you guys? You seem to be you, succubi, but with unusual powers. My arms are shaking. They're monsters. Oh, a group of human heroes. Looks like you've been through a lot. Hey, hey, what a pain. You know, we still don't know a whole lot about this world. On our way to the Monstler's Castle, we met three succubi. We are convinced by the disturbing presence surrounding them that they must be those who want revenge on humans. I don't want to make too many moves at this stage. We'll let you off the hook now, okay? That's our line. If you swear not to hurt innocent people, we'll let you off here. We can't swear that. After all, we're going to kill everyone. That's... Then I'll f end you here! Lazarus, Karen, Merlin, let's go! It can't be helped. There's only four humans, so taking their lives should have no impact on history. Then I will deal with you. In recognition of your courage, I'll give you an honorable death without bat touching you. At the time, we had no way of knowing. The other three were legendary succubi who had come back from the dead. Marcellus was one of the strongest heroes, but even so, he was only human. Ugh. You gotta be kidding me! Marcellus? With one blow? It's no good! Marcellus! He's not breathing! Healing magic! Please come back to life! It's useless. I had him die without letting him suffer. It's no longer possible to revive him. Only three left. You won't miss him. We'll send you all to the same place. This is not an opponent we can win. We must retreat immediately. There's no way we can escape now. We have must fight. For Marcellus! The really bad part came later. We didn't even know what the hell was happening back then. Type 4 World Contact. Type 4 Cross World Contact. A serious paradox has occurred. Hey, 
You gotta be kidding me! That can't be! Adremalek. A major break in history has occurred. Data transfer complete to Apoptosis XX00001 F1000 X137 Y580. Executing Sonia Chaos. Executing correction program. Data transfer complete to Apoptosis XX0002 F1000X137 Y580. No way! Apoptosis? In their XX class, they're said to be the strongest of them. We just killed one of them. Why are they coming out like this? Adremalek activation. Pre-singularity alpha completion phase initiated. Sonia chaos activated. Execute correction phase equilibrium spacetime fluctuations. Astroth, more again. We must destroy these two ASAP. Yeah. And a battle of outsiders unfolded before our very eyes. We were completely out of our league. I watched the battle in a daze. Behind me, Karen continued to cast revive magic on Marcellus's corpse. And then... <sighs> we managed to destroy both of them. But each time they regenerate, they're enhanced. I mean, it might not work out so well next time. Our actions were careless. I never thought killing a single person would cause so much. I'll add a little something here. Killing an ordinary human wouldn't cause this much damage. For history, it's just a small scratch and it will heal via self-repair. But in this case, Lilith killed the worst possible person in history. Luca is the hero who defeated the goddess Helios in the, er, in the original world. In other words, it's no exaggeration to say that he is the most important person in history. And they killed his father before he was even born. That created the biggest of unimaginable paradoxes. As a result, two apoptoses of the highest class have invaded the world. It was... This would cause a huge twist. What in the world? What the... No. Marcellus. I can't bring him back. My magic's not enough anymore. So... How do we even deal with these humans? There's still three of them left. We'll leave them be. From now on, let's avoid pointless fights and devote ourselves to investigations. This is one hell of a mess. We've lost years just dealing with the space-time distortion. For the sake of the Dark God, no matter the hardship, by extension, let us accept it for the sake of our world. No more violence for a while. My, my. The three little sisters left. Marcellus. Uh, I don't know what we're going to do. This is bullshit! Marcellus! I can't believe we buried Marcellus in a place like this. We had no choice. He had no family waiting for him. He wanted us to bury his body wherever he fell. 
It's so lonely. It's sad, even if it's what I wanted. To be marooned in the basement of a shrine. This is the end of our trip. It wasn't so bad, was it, Marcellus? Guys, what are you doing? Hey, no way! M Marcellus, but that's not... I don't remember the last few days. We stayed at the shrine and then... Uh, my memory's foggy. And whose grave is that? Marcellus came back. We buried him. He was surely dead. But then right after that... We had no idea what the hell was going on. It wasn't a fake. It was definitely Marcellus. After that, we... Marcellus wasn't dead. We decided to think that. But if that were the case, there would be no one buried in the grave. But we were too afraid to check. If we dug up the grave and found Marcellus' corpse, then who the hell is the guy who showed up here? That's how our journey ended. I had my suspicions that Marcellus was a different person. What the hell's going on? There are two Marcelluses? Then Marcellus returned to Iliusville. Karen returned to her hometown, where she would marry and give birth to Sonia. I didn't go back to my hometown, Iliusville. I was sitting in Goldport with Grandpa Merlin. To tell the truth, I was avoiding Marcellus. I went back to Iliusville sometime after that. My father died on the Monster Continent 20 years ago and still rests here today. Then what the hell is my father? Another father appeared right after that. I can't tell you that story. I don't know how to, I didn't know how to take it, and neither did Merlin. But traveling with you, I've learned the ins and outs of the world. It involves parallel universes and whatnot. Isn't that right, rabbit? Okay, I'll take it from here. First of all, I want you to remember something. History is self-repairing. When a paradox occurs, it is restored to its original history. This is not due to someone's will, but it is a physical law of the world. The fusion and convergence of chaos flattens stochastic fluctuations. Well, I'll skip the complicated details. However, there is a limit to history's ability to repair itself. If the paradox is too great, it can't be fixed. For example, the human body is able to heal itself from minor injuries, but when it comes to serious injuries, cellular regeneration alone can't keep up. I see. Well, that was the case this time, wasn't it? The important person in history, Marcellus, was lost. He was the father of the most important person in the history of the world. He could not allow history to move forward with his loss. That's where history reclaimed Marcellus. We collected relevant data from multiple parallel worlds that had already disappeared. We copied the biological information of Marcellus to this world. Therefore, the regenerated Marcellus contains data from many worlds. It's a special individual, regenerated from fragments of various parallel worlds. 
Thus, Marcellus became a being that belonged to multiple worlds. He was the only living human that could perceive other parallel worlds. In the beginning, he was accessing parallel worlds unintentionally. He would see visions of other parallel worlds. But, see, but he seemed to have suffered a lot since he returned to Iliasville. But he never let others know of his mutation. At that time, he met Lucifina, a fallen angel. And so, finally, Luca was born. So then I'm the son of Marcellus from other parallel worlds? Yes. Your father was a patchwork from many different worlds. He was able to recognize parallel worlds and has a high affinity for chaos. A father like that produced a son with one of the original angels. It's an incredibly rare case. You. So Luca too has the ability to access our worlds. So that power was inherited from his father. Yes, that is what White Rabbit meant at the very beginning of part one. When she said that this Luca is specially created. It's because he's the only one that has a father made up of a recombination of several different parallel worlds. It's a terrible blow to my theory. The only shred of hope it has left is the explanation for why, how Luca could be the father of Chaos, instead of just having Chaos powers. <clears throat> I mean, really, if that were the... If that's the explanation, it should be Marcellus who's the father of Chaos, and not Luca. But everything points to Luca being the father of Chaos and not Marcellus. Mar Thus Marcellus gained a family, but his anguish continued. The scenes from the other Verlo, the scenes of other worlds that he saw were more often than not those of catastrophe. And he foresaw that this world would follow the same path. This world, in order to protect his family, Marcellus sat out again. Through the introduction from his wife, Lucifina, Marcellus met Michaela. The two of them did a lot of research and grasped the existence of parallel worlds. And so Marcellus became a traveler through parallel worlds to remove the destabilization factors that caused by the connections between worlds. For years, Decades, even centuries, he fought, traveling through various parallel worlds. He wielded his sword without end. That's why he's so strong and has that body. But why did Marcellus, my mother, why did he defeat the Monster Lord? That's the way it's supposed to be. Alphys the Fifteenth was defeated by the hero Marcellus. And the Monster Lord is the one who brings the world to doom. Marcellus recognized that, didn't he? That's why Marcellus has been killing Monster Lords in parallel worlds without end. His nickname is the Monster Lord Slayer. Monster Lord is the one who will bring the world to, of convergence to destruction? What does that mean? Hmm, you should ask Marcellus himself about that. And so there you have it. That's the truth about Marcellus. 
What are you going to do now, Luca? I have to see my father. That's all there is to it. I must see him. No matter what it takes. Well, that's the way it is. I must ask Marcel about his true intentions. Why did he strike down my mother? Depending on the answer, I... I was devastated by my father's secret, which was finally revealed. The deep silence was broken by a scream from upstairs. Is that the sister of the shrine? Could be someone's attacking her? Let's go help her now! I finished the uh, talking, so I'll leave it to you. Alright. Let's go up. 